While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. My brother right here with the black shirt and flyer. One sec. Let me ask you a question. What's your name, sir? Marshawn. Marshawn, step forth real quick, Marshawn. So the question that I asked John, you, you just one sec, put that out for me. I got bad asthma. That's the only reason why I'm asking. And you're not supposed to be smoking anyway. It's bad for your body. We care about you, brother. So all praises. That's some respectful stuff right there. Now, you believe in the Bible at all, Marshawn? A little bit. Does God approve of Fourth of July? Not really. What makes you say that? Yes, it is a pagan holiday. Now, are you gonna celebrate Fourth of July? You said our people usually do. So that means since the family celebrating it, you gonna be kicking it with them too, more than likely, right? Let's see what God says about that, though. Let's see what God says about that. Colossians chapter two and verse eight. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Lord said, beware. So be watchful, warning, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So uh, unless somebody corrupt your mind with foolish doctrines, foolish ideologies, you know, foolish customs and lies, because we celebrate, our people celebrate Independence Day, right? It like out. it's their independence and it's a lie because we were in slavery back in 1776 our hispanic brothers and sisters were going through colonial uh colonialism then that date opened up the floodgates for them to come take over their land Bring it out. that that opened up a whole can of worms with that day so the lord said beware of that read after the, after the traditions of men and after the rudiments of the world. So it's that after the traditions of man, because sometimes what people say, uh, a lot of our people are aware that we were in slavery for Independence Day, right? But why do they say that they celebrate it though? Why do people say they celebrate most pagan holidays when they know it's wrong? What's their reason? Yeah, because everybody else is doing it. What else? They bring up the kids, right? They bring up like you said, family, right? And they say, hey, I'm not doing it for the independence of America. I'm doing it for the family and kids. And that's, we doing it because of tradition, right? Give me Matthew 15 and three. Because a lot of our people, they, they do truly have the uh, zeal to serve God, but they never read God's word. So they don't know right from wrong. And that's what we out here doing, trying to teach people right from wrong. That's because right. there is a price to pay when you're doing wrong. Read that for me. Bring it out. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? I'm going to have him read that again. This is Christ speaking. Remember in Colossians, Maurice, right? Marshawn? Marshawn. Uh, remember, Marshawn, we read in Colossians that Christ said, beware of men's traditions, right? And some people may hear that and say, Christ just giving me a warning. He ain't telling me I'm in sin. Read that again. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Do you know what the definition of sin is? No. Okay, unholy, not godly. Those are, you You write on the money with it. We're going to get the definition out of the Bible because in Matthew, in Matthew, you heard, why do you transgress the laws of God by your sin? You, I mean, I'm sorry, by your traditions. So we're going to get the definition of sin real quick. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Read that again. Okay. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what does the Bible say sin is? 
Read the last part again. I got you, I got you. Read the last part again. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what is sin, Marshawn? Yeah. So according to the words of the Bible, sin, the definition of sin is transgressing God's law. That's right. So let's go back to Matthew 15 and 3 because I'm showing you how it correlates. We may have the right idea and right uh the right idea right intentions about observing these traditions because of family and friends and kids but god is letting you know that that's not right read the book of matthew chapter 15 and verse 3 but he answered and said unto them why do ye also transgress the commandment of god by your tradition so christ is asking why do you sin against god by observing your traditions. What? Why do you sin against God by observing your traditions? That is sin. Because 4th of July wasn't in the Bible for us to keep. That was a man-made day. That was, that was philosophies and vain deceit. We actually have our own independence day that we're supposed to celebrate whole nine. And we can show you that in the scriptures. Give me Romans 6 and 23 real quick, because I, I have to let you know let you know this, Marshawn, because you are a brother. We love you. Read. The book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. So the scriptures say the wages of sin is death, meaning that you living a life of sin the only thing you get out of it is death. That's right. Uh, an early death in this present world, and then when Christ come back, the second death. So we shouldn't be rolling in a manner of sin. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.